Positively Giselle. I hope you're having an awesome day, awesome night. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today I have for you a super cool, different video. I wanted to share with you all what website, what apps I use to make my thumbnails. Now, I am not an expert. I am not perfect in any way. I am still learning so, so I have so many things to learn still. But what I've been using has really, really helped me a lot and I can totally see the difference. I'm going to show you some of my thumbnails. When I first started YouTube, I used to have a family channel, family vlog. And I'm going to go ahead and show you the difference between those thumbnails and the thumbnails I'm making now. I have definitely put some practice to them, you know, to make them, you know, some more decent, some more, you know, something that I am proud of. And I want to show you what I've been using and how it works. It's super easy. It does take a lot of work. It does take a lot of time, um, patience, because trust me, friends, trust me, you will see my first thumbnails versus these thumbnails. I've come a long way, friends. So without further ado, friends, let's get started. One of the websites that I love to use is PicMonkey. PicMonkey is amazing. It has so many features, has so many fonts, has so many graphics. There is a free version that you can try out to see if you like it. And of course, there's a monthly um, version, the Pro, which is the one I use. It's super, super amazing. It has a lots of templates, lots of ideas, lots of textures, colors, themes. It's just super, super, super cool. So let's go ahead and start it, friends. Okay, my friends, as you can see, I already have the shortcut for Pick Monkey. So you wanna press there. Then it takes you automatically. And then up here, up here where it says create new, you press on there and options come out, computer, black canvas. So let's play, let's press black canvas. And then it gives you all the templates here for Etsy. Scroll down, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Snapchat, Tumblr, Twitch, Twitter, YouTube. So you get YouTube thumbnail here and the black canvas comes up and then right here, up here, it says background. You can pick a color. teal, pink, blue, but for now let's leave it white. And then over here, friends, you're gonna see your text, text, photo. Okay, you press text, all this comes out, the templates of text, and then graphics, you press graphics, it has basic, design, social media, business, lifestyle. It has beauty and fashion. It has for the holiday, seasonal, community, celebrate, it has so many. Now you press textures or edits, edits. Crop canvas, resize, rotate, Exposure, colors, sharpen, touch up, airbrush, wrinkle remover, blush boost. Let me be honest with you. I haven't really messed with this section here. Effects, color amp, tired and true, 
dusk, basic, black and white effects, paint box, camera look. Now textures. Look at this. This is so, so fun, friends. Let's say you want a watercolor texture. You see, it automatically comes out. If you don't like that one, you can press on another one. Another one pops up for the background. If you don't like it, press another one. Let's go ahead and cancel. They have water, ice, at a face, metal. I've used these patterns right here. Look at these super pretty colors. Floral, pink. It has so many different friends. This is for the backgrounds. Now let's say you want to add an image. You press up here. Add image is going to give you from computer, hub, stock photos, brand kit, Dropbox, OneDrive, Flickr, Google Photos, and Google Drive. So let's just say for right now, a computer. Let me go to downloads. Let's put this one. So you see, I have, I brought this one here. This is for my, this is my channel um, banner. So you press down here and it says layers. And you see this picture comes up. So now here, when I press, when I pressed on this picture, this popped up over here. So now let's put remove background. And you see my picture by itself. We want to change background, green, different patterns. They also have abstract. Super, super awesome friends. Now I'm going to show you one of my thumbnails that I used to do before I started using PicMonkey and one using uh, PicMonkey so you can see the difference. Let me take this photo off. Now from computer. These are all that I've worked on before. Okay, these are all my thumbnails that I used to have before. Okay, example. This is one without pick monkey. It's decent, it's pretty good. Now let me show you one without, with Pick Monkey. This is without Pick Monkey. Let me show you with Pick Monkey. Okay. Look at the difference. You can right away tell the difference, the pop of color, the outline here, the little design, the bold colors, the background. It's just much, much, much brighter. It pops more. Remember that when we do our thumbnails, uh, whether most of us as, um, you know, we're on our phones, on our tablets. So we need to try and make our thumbnails as pop, 
um, as colorful, stand out more. So that's what I've been working out lately. And I'm just loving the way they are coming out. Now, another thing I want to show you is this. Look, let me bring this picture back. Okay, let's remove the background. Remove background. Now, you press on it and then up here where it says effects, these three little tags pop out. It says drop shadow, inner shadow, outline. So you press on outline and it autom automatically outlines me. Let me make let me make this one bigger. From the corner, you can make this picture bigger from the corner. And you just center it. So you press on effects, outline. You can make it blue, you can make it pink, you can make it teal. For right now, let's do black for right now. You can make the outline thicker or you can make it thinner it makes the image pop out even more friends so pig monkey is super super easy you can go ahead like i said try the free version to see how you like it I hope you like this awesome tutorial, friends. Pick Monkey is amazing, super easy to use. Go ahead and try the free version to see if that's something that interests you. It has so many features. I also have two apps that I use for my social media, for my pics. If I just want something really, really quick and leaves my photos and it has awesome fonts, let me know and I can do another video on that. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you like what you saw, consider subscribing, friends. Follow me on Positively Giselle. See you next time, friends. Bye.